Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? How they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Anything I can do? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. 
Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. 
You're right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Shepard. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who. As long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. 
And that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I met Chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest, she's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Where did you grow up? All over. Same as you, I expect. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters, doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God?
You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Dangerous. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers. Get ready. Die of thirst. The Geth will surely kill us all. 
How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? I fear the Geth will kill us all. The Geth are mounting another attack. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Likely others we need to activate as well.
you don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- Trying to get to the- Let's leave him. There's nothing we can do for him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle... Time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the... Ah! Look out. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it.
the tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? 
I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fai Dan if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Goodbye. Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help. I can't help my people. Good luck, Commander. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing, or it was. But you should speak with Fai Dan. He is our leader. Why should I speak to Fai Dan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fai Dan. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fai Dan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fai Dan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. I have to go. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. She looks whole, but something's clearly causing her pain. 
Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Try to rebuild the command. This colony will survive. We'll... You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like. I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fai Dan. He, he knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics is nothing. I, I should get back to it, but Fi Dan, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. This work must be completed. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Restoring the water supply was a great help. Not the best shot, but I'll do what I can. Nice work with those geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. Your top-of-the-line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Is there something I can do for you? I'm told to make all my goods available. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorot II Heranon Maldinest Got Inost Ledra. 
Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Enost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorot II is my homeworld. Eranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. Goodbye. Yes, good luck. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are my concern. The Geth are yours. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Goodbye. Commander. I can take. All right, heading for the Geth base. Let's take it to him. 